Hello and thanks for checking out this quick little tutorial on how to utilize or rather set up your Amazon S3 account and basically that means Amazon Simple Storage Service and for those of you not in the know what this is it's like a, a, an online hard drive where you can store a whole bunch of files I mean we're talking mega terabyte type files and for the, for pennies I mean or actually for less than pennies for that matter and I'm not really sure I mean I've seen the tables on how they calculate the cost uh, but it, it's uh, my mind starts hurting too much so I just leave it alone anyway um, you're under no long-term contractual agreement so if you don't like what it costs and I really can't see how that could be um, then you can always cancel and just delete the files which by the way deleting the files doesn't cost you anything but just to kind of give you an idea we're talking maybe a couple of bucks a month literally a couple of bucks a month to store and provide uh, streaming videos for 40 50 60 gigabytes of files so just kind of give you an idea I mean that's that's a rough guesstimation but just get to kind of give you an idea of the cost I mean it's dirt cheap for some solid storage and I'm talking uh, well it's amazon.com I mean you're using their structure so as far as security I don't see how you can get much better than this but anyway enough of that I'm not trying to sell you on the idea just show you how to get it done so once you get here and here by the way can be gotten at aws.amazon.com forward slash s3 that's s like sam3 or you can just type in this stuff up here and get to the same spot and i'll show you these other urls here in just a sec once you get here you go over here and you click on the sign up for this web services after you've done that put in all your stuff and uh, get your password and all that stuff you come here to your web services account and what we need out of here is the aws access identifiers click on that and actually it'll log in and all that stuff but you're going to end up on a page that looks like this like so and scroll down here because this is the stuff you're going to want right here your access key and your secret access key because once you have this you're going to have to put it somewhere and I'll show you that here in just a sec to get your for lack of a better explanation your FTP client to amazon.com so keep that thought in mind we're going to return here in just a sec but um, for those of you that only use Internet Explorer as a browser, well, time to broaden your horizons a bit because you're going to need Firefox for this. And don't sweat it. It is, by the way, one of the better browsers on the market right now. Oh, and yeah, it's free. So once you've downloaded your Firefox browser and you got all that going for you, I mean, it's, it's really no big deal. It takes maybe a few minutes to, to, to do. Um, what you need to do now is, and I'll show you this other URL, one or either one of these will get you the same spot. Let's go the easy route. Add-ons.mozilla.org, and that will bring you to. No, this is the other one. The R J O N N A. dot com forward slash e x t forward slash s three f o x dot p h p. That'll that'll bring you here to the creators page. Now then, you can also go to the add-on page for Firefox and I believe that's this one here that I've got yeah that's add-ons right here add-ons.mozilla.org that'll bring you to this page and then actually it'll bring you to the add-ons page and then what you do is you just go here you see we're already where we want to be but you just go here and type in Amazon S3 just like it says here and then hit enter return key that'll bring you to this page for the Amazon S3 Firefox organizer click on add to Firefox once that's installed and up and running you're gonna get a couple of things one right down here in the lower right hand corner you'll get this it says S3 Fox don't sweat it it's supposed to be there <laughs> you can just uh, click on that left click on that and mysteriously this will pop up I'm not too thrilled with this as much as I'm click on this that does have all the functionality as this other tool does that I'm going to show you Get back in the frame here and that is go up here to tools come down here to s3 organizers and this looks more like the FTP client that I'm accustomed to now once you're here you're not going to have any of this stuff over here this is the uh, Amazon server for lack of a better phrase I guess that's what it would be called anyway and this is my desktop here so what you need to do first is up here under manage accounts 
click on that and you'll put in whatever name you want for example I put in my name and then you put in the access key which is okay anywho the access key and the secret key go here and then you just click on save or clear and remember if, the, if this stuff doesn't work for you right off the bat try it again and be more careful that you did not copy any blank spaces whenever you were copying from here make sure you don't have any blank spaces on the beginning or the end of this likewise for your secret access key no blank spaces just copy what what they give you and paste that into here and then click on save you should be good to go and then close that out and you should get like a root directory type thing here at which point you then just click on this guy here with a little uh, starburst up here bam that comes up type in the name of your folder and it's kind of confusing because it says folder here but whenever you do all your reading and stuff and and finding out more about all this they call this a bucket so folder bucket tomato tomato whatever you want to call it. anywho that's what they're talking about when they say bucket it's a folder so then you just uh, inside of this for example I'll double click on that um, I've created additional folders and then inside of this for example I've got additional folders and then inside of this I've got my files my actual videos in this case now before you can actually start running with this and playing these and showing them off to your buddies you have to uh, give them permission and you do that by right clicking and edit ACL then this comes up and whenever it first starts off it's usually going to look like this okay what you want to do is under everyone for the most part just click on the red X and it turns into a green check mark you have now given everybody the ability to read or as in this case watch your videos you do not want to give them full permissions come on folks click on save everything's happy now then you can right click on this left click on copy URL to clipboard and it's floating around your clipboard at which point just open up a text document here and this is where you put it on your web page for streaming videos boom now that's the URL to actually start playing this actually let me just show you what I'm talking about here go to a new tab right click paste enter and I should have a video pop up here bam just like that and there's our video now then how to get this to start playing and streaming on your particular site that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna go over in this next video so hopefully this particular video showed you enough to get you started with S3 or Amazon S3 whatever you want to call it get your account set up because really folks this is the best way to go it does not put any drain on your server uh, your HostGator account your you know blue pages lunar pages whatever it, as somebody's watching your videos uh, on your HostGator account for example it's putting a, a strain on your bandwidth so others that are checking out your other 20 or 30 web pages they're gonna start loading real slow so instead of that spend a couple of bucks I mean really it's nothing at all it, it, it makes your site look more professional when your site loads a lot quicker whenever you do not have the major drain on your bandwidth so it's, it's at least worth checking out so hopefully this video will help you get your feet wet with Amazon S3 hope you enjoyed the video hope you learned something thank you very much for watching and have a great day